So your exams are done. Our exams going on. If fall break is started. Yeah. Do you have any exams, any fall break, or what's going on right now? We have a test for every subject every week. <laughs> every week, right? Yeah, we have tests every time, and we have an exam of, um, like, not an exam, but, like, almost like that, and, like, map. Is it good? Is it boring? I hate math, so it's boring. <laughs> so when you hate something, what do you do? I don't know. When you hate something, you should try to do it more so that you love it. Okay. I do <laughs> math every day with my mom. So. You'll start loving it slowly. What do you not like about math? I don't like when teacher gives us a big lecture and we have to do so many homework. <laughs> we have to do like five pages of questions and answers. <laughs> it's part of growing up, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is we'll share a screen. And so, Devi, which subject do you like? Um, I mean, I like English. Okay, and Sanskriti, you? Science. Science. How about you, Mukun? I like math and science. Both. Wonderful. Very nice. Okay, so we'll start with our class. Okay, we'll start with our prayers, okay? Everyone together. Oh, <laughs> Namo Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Krishnaya Bhutale, Shiva Deva Vedanta, Ami Tinamine, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaudravani, Deva Chani Ne Ne Vishesha Shandhavani, Pasta Dauti Shani Ne, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaudravani, Deva Chani Ne, Hare <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Tanvik. Mata Ji, I did a is it a haircut? Let me see it to you. Where are you? Yeah, I'm going to do a haircut. Hari Bol. Wonderful. Very nice. Mataji, on the, on the 28th, it was Raga's birthday. He, is, he turned two years old. Oh, on the 28th? Yes. Oh, so that was yesterday? No, that was... No, today. the day before the day yesterday. Before yesterday. Yeah, okay. In US, it, for US people, it should be yesterday because for them it's 29th still. I live for in us, Canada here. Sorry? I live in Canada, not in US. Yeah, so Canada and US have 29th today, right? Friday. And Raghav's birthday was on Thursday, the 28th, right? Tanvik? Yes, it's on the 28th. Okay, where's Raghav? He's here, right over here. 
Yeah, uh, so can we sing a happy birthday song for Raga? Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna, dear Raga. Hare Krishna to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Raga. Happy birthday to you. Hari Bol Raga. Wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Hari Bol. Okay, so we'll go back with our slide. And then Tanvik is going to give us a virtual cake to eat. Yes, the, Tanvik? <laughs> the cake is in a box. In a box, right? <laughs> Virtually, we will try to eat a cake. Okay? Yes, but... <laughs> That's I'm going to show you the oh. cake, then you'll eat oh, it. Okay. Okay, so let's go back with our verses. So last time we did a revision and then we have come to our sixth chapter. Imagine how many now you have to tell me how many of you think maybe in some weeks what we will do is we will keep just an open platform whereas whatever verses we have done till now, I'll have the first line of those verses pulled up and then you can recite them as you whichever you feel that you you know okay so next week or maybe after some time in between whenever we take a break from our regular let me just let me just highlight these parts okay so that it becomes easy for our game okay Okay, so today we are going to do start with the sixth chapter, 6.17, okay? And let us see what it talks about. We'll again go line by line. Everyone with me? So who did join? Let me see, okay? So we have Hari Bol Balavrinda, Rudra, Tanvik, Subhadra Giridhari, and... Soimanti is somebody has joined new. Hi Krishna. Oh, this is Samhita. Hi Krishna Samhita. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hari Paul. So nice that you join. Okay, so we'll do one word at a time. Okay. Yuktahara. 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 Viharasya Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktacheshtasya Yukta Cheshtasya Yukta Cheshtasya Yukta Cheshtasya Yukta Cheshtasya Karma Su Karma Su Karma Su Karma Su Karma Su Yukta Harasya Yukta Hara Yukta Hara Viharasya Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktahara Viharasya Yuktakeshtasya 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 
स्वप्न बोध से युक्त स्वप्न बोध से युक्त स्वप्न बोध से योगो दुख योगो दुख युक्त स्वप्न बोध से योगो भवती दुख युक्त हारा विहार से युक्त चेष्टा कर्म टू लाइन्स एट टाइम ओके युक्त हारा विहार से युक्त ओके सो वॉट वील डू इज वील गो वन एट अ टाइम ओके लेट अस सी school also we have a party today and i am going to make stuffed brinjal and take today and but you know we are not selling we have even got a pencil ah. very good very nice nice today everything is about talk about eating right i just ate some candy <laughs> and i want to give some candy to my friends so i asked them now um, My friend's mom came, and I told that can um my friend come, and then he can get some candy. Oh, very good! Happy Halloween! Yeah, Happy I Halloween! Do 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 do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mata ji. Yes. Mata ji, as a devotee, we should you should uh follow the rules and regulations. Okay, let's go to it. Let's go towards it. Okay, because this this verse is all about it. Bukun, do you want to go go ahead with the verse? Hi, Bol Bukun, are you there? You can unmute. Yes, Madhuri, I wanted to say something also. Um, yes, Bukun. Congratulations, dear, because I heard that your school won some um won a uh, award or something. Yeah, the best school in CBS uh, in the in the PCMC where we are. In that, it has been selected as the best school. Thank you, uh, Mukund. Congratulations, Mataji. <laughs> Thank you, Bita. Mataji. One second. Now, Tanvik Mukund will finish, and then I'll come back to you. Is it okay? Good job. Yes, Mukund. 
ಯುಕ್ತಚೇಷ್ಟಸ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಸು ಯುಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಪ್ನಾವಬೋಧಸ್ಯ ಯೋಗೋ ಭವತಿ ದುಃಖ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಅಹೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಿಟ್ will that work okay very nice then we have rudra hi krishna rudra okay can you say this verse okay, okay thanks mata ji yukta ra yukta hara yahara ya rasya ya yukta ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಓಕೆ ನೋ ವರಿಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಯುಕ್ತಾರ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಸುದೇವಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸುದೇವಿ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಬೀರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಕಬೀರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಡು ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡು ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಬೀರ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿಕ್ವಿ
दुख भगवती दुख हाँ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सात्विक थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग सात्विक ऋषिकेश कैन यू गो अहेड विद वर्स वेरी गुड आई वुड राइट लाइक टू थैंक अगेन मेन्शन ऋषिकेश मॉम Thank you, uh, Rishikesh. Please convey our thanks to your mom. Rishikesh, mom is the one who is uh, who sends the reminders for all our classes, and it really helps everyone so that we come to know that our class is there, right? So big Hari Bol to Rishikesh, mom. Hari Bol, Rishikesh, please convey our thanks to your mom. Okay. 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 Then we have. Uh, Samskriti, did you go? Did you say it the verse? Yes, Mataji. Okay. Then we have. Uh, so Devi is said. Samita, you want to repeat with me? Mm, yeah. Or you or you want to go ahead by yourself? Uh, I'll first try myself. Very good. Good job. I love it. Yuktara, Yukta, Yuktara, Virasa. Very good. Yukta, Kars, 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 Kars. वेरी गुड युक्त स्वप्न स्वप्न बोधश गुड जॉब योग विश्वा डू यू टू गो है राइट Wonderful, wonderful. So, yeah. So we will go with our game. Okay, game time, everyone. Okay, everybody, eyes and ears on the word and the uh, meanings. Okay, so we can ask you the word and then you can tell us the meaning. Okay, anywhere. So everybody, eyes and ears. Yukta. Regulated. Regulated. Okay, regulated. Regulated. And no, no worries if somebody is saying it late. Also, you can still repeat it. Okay, so that at least it is on the tip of your tongue whenever uh, it is being asked. Okay. In discharging duties. Karma su. Karma su. Very good. Then, chetasya. Of one who works for maintenance. What do you work for? Of one who works for maintenance. Works for maintenance. Of one who works for maintenance. Very good. Eating. Ahara. 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 Very good. Becomes. 
भवती वेरी गुड भवती डिमिनिशिंग पेन्स वेरी गुड स्लीप एंड वेकफुलनेस कर्मसु डिड यू फाइंड इट संहिता ऋषिकेश डिड यू फाइंड इट वेर इट इज रिटर्न नो Okay. See over here. Can you see what what I've highlighted? Yes. Yeah. Wait. Let me highlight it in a different color. Do um, you see it now? In purple. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Karma so in discharging duties. Vihara sir. Vihara. रिक्रिएशन प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा योगा प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा डिफरेंट कलर योगा प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा Very good. Bhavati becomes uh, regulated. Bhavati becomes regulated. Becomes yukta. Yukta. Becomes becomes. Sudra, did you find it? Yukta. Oh yeah, very good. Yukta regulated. And did you find Bhavati? Yes, Bhavati becomes. Bhavati becomes. Very good. Very good. Rudra, can you read the translation for us, please? Okay, Mataji. Uh, he was regulated in his habits of eating, sleeping, recreation, and work can mitigate all material pain by practicing the yoga system. Very Thank good. you, Mataji. Very nice. Okay, now what I want you all to do is, you know, this is Karthik month going on. Everyone, yeah. Karthik yes. month is yes, going on, right? Yes, so, sir. yeah. So what we are going to do is for the activity. One, what we will do is see. Everybody has started reading in your school, right? You all yes. have started reading. So what I want you to do yes. is, okay, I want you all. to record this will be a home not a homework don't take it as a compulsory homework but you can do it as a activity okay so what okay. we can do is we can start let me just stop this screen sharing so that i don't forget what i was going to say so we have the bhagavad gita as it is right yes so what we can do is i know we want to read the whole bhagavad gita but just to start with what we can do is chapter 1 okay you can do it weekly if you can do it every day well and good or as and when you can find time what i want you to do is the only translations okay words we are learning but i want you all to know what the translations are so what the translations are like suppose for the first verse okay then i will put a lot yeah i'll put my phone i'll have it recorded so that you know when you grow older after one year two year when you see at that video it becomes it you know it makes you feel so happy that yes one year uh, ago i was reading this or i was i could re i had already read it so what i'll do is i'll record myself i'll suppose i decide okay five verses i'm going to read then i say dritra text 1 what you can say is chapter 1 observing the armies on the battlefield of kurukshetra text 1 dhritarashtra said o sanjaya after my sons and the sons of pandu oh should you cancel it should not 
yeah the translation i want i know we are learning the verses but at the same time i'm time i want you to read the translation and they should be one after the other so you decide okay am i going to read 10 verses or am i going to read five verses and you are reading the translation so that you understand what is the flow of the bhagavad gita okay and then you will read the second verse again the translation so like this start recording yourself only for the translations first okay because everyone might not be very much clear with the um, words pronunciations that we are going slowly but now this i want each and every verse okay again this is an activity which you all can do as per your time permits so don't take be in anxious that oh i have to finish this mathaj has given and homework no just finish it suppose you do it five verses but record yourself okay if you like please share those recording with us so that we it can be uploaded on the facebook also and why facebook you know when you know like when mathaj is are putting it on facebook or when this is uploaded on facebook why do we do it it is not that we are doing it for our sense gratification it is because looking at you if some kid of your age he listens to that he will say oh wow look at this she is just 7 years old she is just 8 year old and she is reading such nicely and she is reading such good, uh, hard words also so they will also get motivated to read okay and doing this your reading is also going to improve can we do that everyone okay and do share it with uh, like i would really recommend that you record it on the phone you can you don't like uh, maybe not if your parents are not there along with you also okay just keep the phone on the recording okay on the video and then you can just plainly read it when you are done say hari krishna and then stop the recording can you do that okay yes, very nice so i'll i'll wait for you okay Yes, Mataji. Yes, Samita, you were saying something. Can we do any chapter we want, or should we do the chapter you are teaching us? Ah, uh, no. You can start from the first chapter. Let us give it a start. Okay, start from the first chapter, and then you can decide whether you want to read five verses, whether you want to read ten verses. We are talking about translation. Okay, we are talking about translation. Remember. so don't be very anxious that oh i do not know how to read this verse we are reading about we are talking about the translation so it's the english part so your reading will also increase and this way we can complete reading the bhagavad gita translations also so that you can understand what exactly how the bhagavad gita is still going okay if there is any okay. query you can message me and ask me okay okay Okay, so let us go back with our words. Okay, yeah. Uh, Vishwa, can you read the translation for us, please? Okay, he is regulated in his habit of eating, sleeping, recreation, and work can might mitigate mitigate. mitigate. all material pains by practicing the yoga system very good now the very first word over here which you see which has been repeated over here which is the word which has been repeated several times yukta yukta, yukta. yukta. right and what does yukta mean rishikesh are you there with us regulated regulated rishikesh Yes, can you hear me? Yes, are you there with us? Yes. Okay. Okay, so yukta is regulated. Okay, so this word has been repeated over here. So very good. Thank you, Rishikesh. So let us exactly see what does this regulated mean. What do you understand when you say regulated? Um, I don't know. Okay. Anybody, your understandings, what you know when you say regulated. Okay, Give me like one second. Okay, I'll just get a glass of water for myself.
I think it means like into the habits. Sorry, go ahead, Samskriti. Like into. Okay. Um. Okay. okay. Regulated. Any anyone with the name? Anybody knows? Like four regulative principles we say. Like balance. Balance. Okay. Balance is one word. Yes, Tanvik. Right. Mata ji, I know Mata ji. Balance. Balance. Okay. Anybody else can coin a word for it? Regular. Okay. Regular one is saying. Okay. Control or maintain. Yes, yes Kabir, go ahead, please. Control or maintain. Very good. Very nice words. Controlled or maintained. Good job, Kabir. Very nice. Anybody else has any, any more understanding about it? Okay. So, Yukta is regulated. So, very nice word. All the words which you have all coined is really good. So, Yukta is regulated. That means balanced, controlled. Okay. So, what this the word saying is one who he who is regulated in his habits. That means controlled or balanced or has a check of his habits of what? Eating. That is what? Yuktahara. Okay. Aha, ahar is what? Ahar is eating. Okay. This is the Sanskrit word. Ahar, eating. One who is regulated in his habits. Now, what is habits? Habit is something which you do? Yeah, every, well, regularly. Yeah, regularly, right? Which you do every day. So, that means this regulation is not only for one day. This regulation or this controlling is not only for one time. Okay? It is that you have to have it on a daily basis. In sense, it becomes your habit. Okay, that means it becomes your habit means should you be applying it for your everyday activity? Should you be applying it for everyday activity? When Yes, when it is habits, right? Applying it for everyday activity. So what is it? Regulation in eating, sleeping, recreation and work. Okay, so we'll go one by one with this. So Yukta is what? Regulated. So, regulated means what? Controlled. As Kabir said, controlled. Mukun said, balanced. Right? That means nothing is prohibited. Do I say that, okay, you have to stop eating. You have to stop sleeping. You have to stop working. Does Krishna consciousness anywhere tell you, stop doing this, stop doing that? Has anybody heard anybody saying, okay, you should stop doing this? Or you should no, just not, not, no, at no, least... At least about the three things, eating, sleeping, working. Mm -hmm. Has anybody told us to stop doing that? No, Mataji. No. So it is yukta, that is regulated. Nothing is prohibited, but everything is made yukta, regulated with the higher purpose always in mind. That means, do I say... That, okay, I have told you to do this very in less quantity because I want you to do it. Is it my interest that I want you to do it? Why do you think is all this? When Srila Prabhupada says that we have the four regulative principles, is it going to be for me, my good? Or is it going to be for Srila Prabhupada's good? Your good? My good, right? So when I say... I have to have a regulated eating. Look at this picture. Oh, you know what? This picture has come right in time of Halloween. <laughs> I did not I did not remember it was Halloween. But look at this person after eating a lot of candies. What has happened to him? He has grown in a big belly. <laughs> He's got a big belly. He is all like, uh, I don't know in which I'm world he is. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> he is a funny man. I don't know which world he is in now, right? So this yeah. becomes, and this is not only with candies, okay? This can be other foodstuffs also which are there with him. Okay, maybe he's eating more of donuts or maybe he's just eating and eating and eating and eating. Then what happens? This too much of eating will make you too much sleepy. 
Okay, so like last night, I was so tired and I, I don't know, I ate and then I just slept. Maybe I ate a little too much. But then I, I slept early because I really needed that. And then I could wake up early today. It is morning, what time now? It is 5.30 in the morning. But then I feel okay, like, okay, I, I slept early. I was fresh in the morning and now I'm there with you. So what we have to do is that you have to have a check on how much you are eating, how much is needed for your body and what in controlled proportion that you can eat. Okay. Now, when we are talking, now when we are talking about this eating, why are we eating? Can somebody tell me? What is the reason that we eat? Because that we can get strong to run and learn okay. and have good eyesight. Okay, so that we can get strong to walk, run. Okay, anybody else? So that we have energy to serve Krishna. Very good. Okay, we have energy to serve Krishna. Anybody else? That we maintain our body. Yes, we maintained our body. Very nice. So I'll ask you a question, okay? Should I live to eat or should I eat to live? Eat to live. 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 <laughs> should we eat to live? Yes. I think we had something over here. Wait, let me just pull up that slide, okay? <laughs> We had it somewhere. I don't know where we had it. Okay. I don't think so. I have it over here. Okay. So maybe we'll find it in the next part. Okay. So see, if, if I'm going to eat and eat and eat, and then if I'm going to sleep and sleep and sleep, then I cannot get up in the morning and chant. And then I cannot do any of my devotional services. See, on an Ikadashi day, right? You fast and you do more chanting, right? What happens is, what, what happens because of that? You when you when, serve Krishna. Yeah, that means you are having less of your sense gratification and then you're serving Krishna. I know what happens is on in Marathi, we have a saying, Ekadashi Duppat Khashi. That means on Ekadashi, rather you land up eating twice the quantity of food that you are eating on a normal day. Does it happen? Ekadashi pizza and Ekadashi, all sorts of uh, dishes are made on Ekadashi, right? So on Ekadashi, it should be fasting. But on the other hand, what do we do? We made Ekadashi popi, pizza, we made ek so feasting, right? Rather, it, we are feasting. Instead of fasting, it becomes feasting. So what we should do is whatever is required for my body to have the strength to carry on the regular activities. Okay, only that much we should be able to do it and then devote the other time for activities which are related to Krishna consciousness, right? So see, the first over here is what? That yuktahara, that means you should have a control over what are eating because this too much of eating should not make you sleepy and should not stop you from chanting. Suppose if I eat a lot of heavy meal at night and then I get up, somehow I get up in the morning and I sit chanting. Then what will happen? I'll feel asleep because I will be very lethargic because the food is not yet digested and it is still making you sleepy. So see to it that whatever you are eating is in a controlled proportion because you all are small kids, okay? You should not be, in one of the verses also it is written in the Srimad Bhagavatam, you should not be starving yourself. On an Ikadashi also, whatever is needed, you should be eat, you should be eating, drinking. Okay. Main focus is chanting. What you are eating is secondary, but see to it that whatever you are eating is not affecting your chanting. Or it shouldn't be that because you are cooking and cooking and cooking, you do not get time to chant. Okay. So that should be one thing which has to be followed. Okay, so Srila Rupa Goswami has advised that Atyahara, that means too much of eating, will be an impediment. Now see, this Krishna consciousness is such a beautiful thing always. It gives you, when you're reading also, this reading activity which I'm telling you, because of this reading, there are many words which you are going to learn, some new words. Okay, 
So just try to always use them in your sentences. So this eating, extra eating is going to be an impediment into the spiritual advancement. How many of you, of you over here want to really advance in Krishna consciousness? Raise your hands. Tanvik wants, Samskriti, Kabir, right? Yeah, can you say the question again? Among over here, all of you, who are the ones who really want to uh, advance in your spiritual life? Very good, everyone, right? Good job. Why Subhadra Giri Thar? Okay, Subhadra Giri Thari over there, they have done their hands. Okay, no worries. Okay. So, after Yuktahara, next, next is... One second. Just... Mataji, we raised our hands up in the air. Yes, yes, I see it. I see it. Okay. So, Yuktahara Viharasya and then it is Chetasya, right? Okay. Then the next is Chetasya. Of one who works for maintenance, karmasu in discharging duties. Uh, let me have some delights over here. Yes. Uh, very good. Sudevi, can you read this for us? Yes, Mataji. If you want to be a yogi at home, then your other engagement should be moderate. You cannot engage for earning your living very hard, very heavily. And at the same time, you can become a yogi. No, that is not possible. That is not possible. Okay, okay. That, your, that's that's, your that's, work that's, that's be, yeah, I, yeah. Anxiety less. Okay, Tanvi, can you read this for us again? Okay, if you want to be a yogi at home, well, at home, then your other engagement should be moderated. You cannot engage for earning your living very heavily, and at the same time, you. Can we a yogi? No, that is not possible. That is not possible. Your work should be anxiety-less. Very good. So see, we are in Krishna consciousness. Nobody says that stop working. You shouldn't go to office. You shouldn't get to school. Nobody says such a thing, right? You all have to do what you need to do. Everybody has to go to school. Everybody has to go to work. They have to earn a living. And everybody has to do whatever recommended things are needed for your life to be maintained. Right? You cannot say, I've stopped working now. I'm just going to sit. How many of you feel that, oh, no school. Now let me just sit and chant the whole day. How many of you? Wait, let me first <laughs> lower your hands. Otherwise, it will become that everybody wants to stay at home and chant. <laughs> okay, how many of you think that no going to school and only sitting and chanting? Samskriti, Rudra, no school? <laughs> Sumit, <laughs> Samita, you also do. Ay, why, 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 why? You do not want to go to school? Subhadra Giridhari? No, this is wrong. I'm sorry, Mataji. You wanted to both things. That's why I'm raising two hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because mm -hmm. going to school is important. And Srila Prabhupada would never recommend that, okay, no going to school, no working. He would never say that, right? This isn't possible if you don't go to school. Because yes. my mom and dad be angry. Yes, Subhadra Giridhari. Mataji, I was saying that... Uh, like if you if you have to become like like um like a, a scholar or like a yogi, um you have to become like you have to do the material uh work and then the spiritual work. Yes, material work is also important because with that you are sustaining your body, right? That is very, very important because that is going to help you to um to maintain your body, right? 
See, if you want to be a yogi at home, see, yogi means does not mean that, okay, I have to leave everything and go into the forest and sit over there chanting and that yogi. No, at home also you can be, right? If you have the right consciousness in mind, if you have your family members who are supporting you, what should you do? You should be able to engage your kids, your family members, everyone in Krishna consciousness, okay? And that will happen when you are going to have a yukta, that means a regulated life. Your work is also so much that, okay, after my work also, I am going to get time to do my Krishna consciousness. After my studies, along with my studies also, I am going to be able to do Krishna consciousness. That will make everything possible. Otherwise, if I say, no, no, I have work. I work in the office for eight hours. Then after coming home also, I'm going to work. Then what happens? Then you will have no time for your Krishna consciousness. So that is very important wherein you are again going to have a yukta that is a regulated life. Now, the last sentence over here, your work should be anxiety less. Okay. What will happen if I'm just thinking about my work every time? What do you think will happen? I you won't have any time for chanting or any yeah. services. Yes, and then I will always be occupied in my work. Okay, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to think about this. And every time I'll be just work, 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 which is not a very good sign. Okay, we'll go about it. Now, you know what, Where there is always one explanation which is given in Srimad Bhagavatam also, that how greed, this comes also in greed part also, okay, but we will just explain this because it is related to our food stuff. Now, I think last time also I gave you this example or maybe I gave it to the another class. So, suppose I give you an example, you know, what happens is, suppose uh, if you, uh, there's an elephant, Okay, mm -hmm. suppose he eats one ton of grass every day. Okay, a elephant is, eats one ton of grass every day. So if you keep two or three tons of grass in front of him, in spite of keeping any amount of grass in front of him, he will eat only that much which is required for his body for that day or which is required for his body on a regular basis. Suppose whatever he is eating every day, that much only he will be eating. Okay. And do you think that the elephant carries things with him and he hides it somewhere in his jungle and then later on goes and eats it? Does he do that? No. Are you sure? No. Okay. Now the second example I'll give you of, uh, about a, a bird. Okay. A pigeon or a parrot or any bird. A bird, if I keep a sack of grains in front of him, or if I keep a sack of grains right outside, what do you think will he do? Will he take the whole bag and run away? No, Mother G, he'll just eat how much he needs. Yes, whatever in his beak, he can eat it and eat it, and then he'll fly away, right? At the most, like one is taken, he'll eat to give it to his brother, his uh, young ones, right? Do you, so he does not store anything anywhere. Isn't it? So the same way, what we do is on the similar ground, if we think about human beings, what do you see? See over here, look, look at this fridge. And I think it's, uh, you know, it is, uh, I wouldn't be wrong if I say that sometimes we also do this, right? Stocking up things. Oh, there's a sale going on. Come on, let's go. Today we got lots of shopping. Yeah, but that is like you are going to use it for Krishna, right? Over here, if it is for my sense gratification, okay, I'm going to cook this and eat it myself. This is for some of them who are not offering it. Okay, and overstocking of food. Oh, today is the sale. Come on, let's go. Lots of clothes today. One, get one, buy one free. Get one, buy one free. And then you go on getting things. Then for food items, sometimes what happens is, oh, you like this grocery, you get it. You like that grocery, you get it. And then at times, it might be also wasted, right? Because you've accumulated a lot. So this overstocking or overburdening of things makes us anxious, okay? Then you see there are so many things. Now I have to cook this, I have to cook that, I have to cook this because this will go to waste. So that what happens is your mind does not think it what Krishna mm -hmm. likes. 
your mind starts thinking, okay, I've bought this, I have to use it, I have to finish it. Cooking is done in both the ways. When I get things, I have to cook it. But when I see, okay, yesterday I offered my samosas to the Lord, maybe next week I'm going to offer kachoris. If you think that and then you go for your grocery, then your mind is thinking in a different way. If you think, oh, wow, I did not eat kachoris for a long time. Let me make it for myself and then I will offer it to Krishna. I'm going to make kachoris either way. Okay. But then if I think, wow, I did not eat kachoris for a long time. Let me make kachoris. And then when you make it, you offer it for Krishna. Or on the other hand, if you think, oh, you know what? My Krishna did not eat kachoris for a long time. Let me make kachoris for Krishna. And then I can eat it. Which of the two is right? Uh, yes, right? So either way, either way I'm going to make kachoris. But when I see that I can make it for Krishna and then I can eat it, that thinking itself is purifying. Okay? So always remember that. Now over here, see. Uh, we have Isha. Hello, are you there? Yes, Mother Isha, can you read this uh, slide for us? Yes, Mother G. There is no possibility of one's becoming a yogi oh arjun if one eats too much or eats too little sleeps too much or does not sleep enough very good we'll come to we'll come with the uh sleeping part also okay so see over here we see srila Prabhupada. he is uh honoring the prashadam he is eating the prashadam along with his other um, like other Maharajas also. And over here you see Srila Prabhupada, he used to cook the food. He taught all these American devotees who were there. When he, when, when he went to the US, he even taught them how to cook. They did not know what halwa was. They did not know what puri was. They did not know what chapati was, right? So they, he taught them all these things. He taught them even the cooking part. So that is one who is going to teach everyone. Now, see, when you are talking about cooking, we have cooked the food, sorry, we have bought the groceries, boga, then we have cooked it. Then next is what? We have to offer it, right? Over here, what do you see? One, one particular thing, what do you see in everything? How is it offered? Closely. With the they have a plate and they have yes, on the top. Yes. So see, it's a Maharaj book plate. So many varieties of food items, right? And then these people ask, what do you all Hare Krishnas eat? You don't eat this, you don't eat that. Then what do you eat? See, this is a big feast, right? So see, what it is mentioned is that whatever we are offering it to the Lord, we can accept it or we can eat it. And that includes vegetables, fruits, grains, milk. Now each temple has different, different, uh, different, different ways by which they are making the poka plate. So some might have okay two sabzis, one dal, and then uh, chapatis, and then rice, and a nectar, a sweet, then daily sweet. So different ten temples have different ways of offering things to the Lord. And what is why is it I'm that I'm offering to the Lord? Krishna is so hungry that everywhere we need to offer things to Lord. Why do you feel? Why do we need to offer it? See over here, but this Prabhu because, is offering it to Lord. Because Krishna is not hungry. It's just he's doing it for our satisfaction. Because mm -hmm. well, not really like that, but like, uh, like when I, well, it's like we're not feeding him. Actually, that's all his. He's just honoring it for us. Very good, Rudra. Very nice. Anybody else wants to say? <laughs>
Very good. So what is <laughs> okay, so what, why, how are we offering this? With? Love. Love and devotion, right? Love and devotion. Yo me bhaktya. Yeah, yo me bhaktya prachati. That means the Lord says, okay, you're offering me grains, you're offering me food, you're offering me vegetables, everything is there. But I want a devotion out of it. It has to be offered with the devotion. So that is an important part of our offering. Okay. No matter what we are offering, it should always be with devotion in your heart. Okay. And we'll come to this at the end. Let me just go ahead with the third part. Okay. Then we talked about the sleeping, right? What it say, what it is said in the next thing is, let me go with the verse again. What it was said was that your sleeping also should be controlled, right? Where it went. Yeah, see. Yukta Swapna Bodhasya. That means your sleep and wakefulness. That also should be regulated. Now, let me come back over here. What do you see this? A polar bear sleeping. A polar bear, bear that polar bear, bear, is polar bear sleeping. Yes. Polar yes. bear sleeping. But so, not hyper. Yeah, you know what? There is one story which is shared by one of the Prabhus that one day, you know, he was always curious that how is Srila Prabhupada sleeping? He used to always be curious that what is Srila Prabhupada doing or how is he sleeping? So one day what he did when he was on guard on his, like he was uh, uh, awake for, uh, he was outside Srila Prabhupada's uh, room. He wanted to just see what is Srila Prabhupada doing in sleep. Okay. You know, normally you have that curiosity when your teacher, you feel that, oh, where does the teacher live or uh, what does she do when she's at, when she's home? So you always have that curiosity where, to the person whom you love or the person whom you like. So like that, this Prabhu, he had a, he had curiosity that what is Srila Prabhupada doing when it is sleep, when he's sleeping? And when he tried to peep through a window, it was seen that he could feel that Srila Prabhupada in his sleep also he was chanting. Like he could feel Srila Prabhupada's lips were moving and he was chanting the Mahamantra. Okay, so this should be our, you know, before going to sleep, if you read the Bhagavad Gita, if you read the Srimad Bhagavatam, you will, you know, when the next morning you wake up, you will feel that the story in your sleep also you had the same dream about whatever you read or in the morning when you get up and you're chanting. You can, whatever you read in the Srimad Bhagavatam, those stories will start, you will start recollecting them when you're chanting. So this is the power of when before sleeping, just chant around or at least read some of Srila Prabhupada's books. Okay. So now see the sleeping should not affect your Krishna conscious activities. We do not have Suraj with us today, but Suraj always has a problem. He says about waking up. Okay. So see unnecessary time spent sleeping is considered as a great loss. Last time, I, I think I told you or I don't know whether it was for this class. Let me tell you, what time is it at your... I think we told... I, I told you in your class only on last Monday or something. Again, 7.21 we'll for me. 7.21 for you, right? So now tell me, who was it? Who said that? Me, Rudra. Okay, Rudra. So tell me now, if I give you $10,000... Okay, I give you $10,000. Can you bring me back 7 o'clock of a Friday evening on October 20, October 29th? But I want you to bring back 7, a, 7 p.m. back again. Can you do that? Um, no. No. Why? Because... 
I wake up at six and then I have to do school and then. No, 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 Rudra, you didn't get me. Now it is 7.21 p.m. in your place, right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So it is already past seven o'clock? Yep. 7 p.m., right? 7 p.m. is already past, right? Yeah. So if I tell you, go back in time and get me 7 p.m., 20 minutes earlier time, I want back again. Can you get it for me? No. no. Anybody? No. 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 Oh, we are traveling in time. Yeah, time ah, we are not traveling in time. No. And whatever is long. Minutes lost. already passed. Seconds already passed. 100 yes. years. Back. Right. So imagine that whatever minute is passed today, no matter how much of gold you give, no matter how many dollars you give, you cannot get it back. So imagine if I am wasting my time today, I am wasting that time which has been for my life, which has been given in my life. Any time, no matter what I do is not going to come back, right? So this sleeping, if I waste my time sleeping, it is such a great loss that this time, this second, this minute, this year of my life is never going to come back again. So you have to see to it that each and every minute of your day is used constructively. Okay. See that. Well, okay. See over here. This was what I was searching for. Srila Prabhupada taught that devotees of Krishna don't live to sleep, but they sleep so that they can rest the body. Okay. I am not going to wake up. Oh, wow. After doing all this work, I'm going to sleep. Then again, after doing this work, again, I'm going to sleep. Don't live to sleep, but sleep so that your body just gets that needed rest. Okay. Because this body is given by the Lord. And if we can, you if we cannot use this body, see if I say no, 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 I have to do my uh, so many things. I have to read, read, read. Then I sit all night reading. Then I see no, 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 no. I have to do my do my this thing, that thing, and I do. I do not sleep. What will happen? Is it a good sign? No, Mataji. No, I'm no, not. Mataji. Yeah, I'm not taking care of my body in that way. Now see, Srila Rupa Goswami and then Srila Prabhupada, these are all elevated souls. Okay. Srila Prabhupada, he used to go to bed at 10 o'clock and then he used to wake up somewhere around midnight and then he used to do the translation work or he used to record it in the dictaphone so that in the daytime, the devotees they could uh, write it down and then they could have the notes for it. Okay. The purports for it. So, these all had a habit. They over, over a long time, they increased their sadhana in such a way that the sleep time for them reduced to three to four hours. But you as kids, you need proper at least seven hours of sleep. So see to it that you are having proper sleep so that you can wake up. And after waking up, try to at least do some of your rounds. Okay, chanting. And that too in the morning time. Okay. So see the hard work for Krishna uh, and rather unwillingly lie down. Okay, Devotees don't want to sleep long like a bear or sneak in more what is what they than what they need. Okay. So this is very important for all of us. And whatever we do is always with respect to Krishna's whatever we need is for Krishna. Okay. Coming to the work part. What do you think? Should I work? Should I be working or should I just leave my job and sit doing only I uh, chanting? What do you think should I do? It's very Both. nice if I can do that. Work. Both. Work. Both. But if I'm going to work, how can I maintain Krishna consciousness when I'm going to work? What can I do? By, by giving, by giving Krishna consciousness also. Chant in your car. Okay. By giving Krishna consciousness to many people. Okay, I'm coming in contact. Chanting in your car when you're driving. Very good. When I'm driving, when I'm out, I can give Krishna's books. I can give Srila Prabhupada's books to everyone in my contacts. What else? When we I'm can working... Bhagavatam. 
Okay. So when I'm working, what am I getting out of it? Money, 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 right? Money. I'm getting money. And then and that money, I am purchasing the bhoga which is required to make the Lord's feast. Okay. So do you think that I'm using my money for Krishna consciousness? Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Mataji. Then I'm working, I get, I'm working, I get money. Out of that money, I buy some of Srila Prabhupada's books. And then I keep it for, I, then I give it to people around me, whomever I meet, whomever I can talk to. Is that Krishna consciousness? Yes, Mataji. Right. Then I'm I'm going to work. I'm earning and I'm getting money. And with that money, what am I doing is my kids are going to school. And then after they come from school, they have some uh, things which are related to Krishna consciousness. That means indirectly, I am uh, feeding my family or I am taking care of my family. Is that Krishna consciousness? If the money which I earn is going to you be used so that my family can make bhoga, can visit yes, the temple Mataji. because I need petrol, right? I need gas to put it in my car so that I can run it. So is that also a part of Krishna consciousness? No. Oh, yeah. No. Yes, Mataji. Yeah, yeah. Yes, right? Yes, so you have to always think in that way. So don't feel that, oh, I shouldn't be going to going to office. I should just be chanting. Srila Prabhupada never said that. You know, there were devotees like, you know, um, George Harrison. He, uh, George Harrison, he was a, a musician, right? He used to record songs and he also sang the Hare Krishna in his London, uh, in his albums. So he once said that I want to leave everything and I want to come and stay in the temple. Okay, now don't think that the temple pujaris who are staying in the temple are doing nothing. They are going on Sankirtan, they are so, uh, they are distributing the books. So they are also, though they have uh, a renounced life, but then they are serving the Lord in the best possible way. So, uh, what was I saying? About uh, devotees, yeah, about, about Jack, about George Harrison, okay? What did he do? He said that he told Srila Prabhupada, I want to leave everything and I want to come and stay in the temple. What did Srila Prabhupada tell him? That his, his part of Krishna consciousness could be satisfied also by him spreading Krishna consciousness through the best way which he can. And what was the best thing that he was doing? George Harrison, who is he? He's a great singer from the Beatles. Yes, great singer from the Beatles. So, yeah, so that is the way. So you have to think, what is my quality which Krishna has given me through which I can spread Krishna consciousness? Okay, so try to find that out and then it becomes easier for you to start, uh, start somewhere. Okay. Everybody has understood what we have done over here? Yes, yes, I have. No much of eating, yes, no much of eating, no much of sleeping, and no much of just work, work, work also. You shouldn't be doing that as well. Okay? Now, when we said offering, I want you all to know these verses. Okay? Can we all repeat together this one time so that we can end the call? Namo Vishnu Padaya, Listen, 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 listen. So this prayer is done. Yeah, this prayer is said when you are offering your food. Okay? And the first prayer is said to Srila Prabhupada. Why is it told us to Srila Prabhupada? Because 
Srila like, Prabhupada is our like guru, right? He is in the Guru Parampara. So when you tell Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, please offer this food. Then Srila Prabhupada offers it to his further gurus and it is being, you know, it is being offered by the Guru Parampara to Krishna. Okay. Then next one, let's say all together, let us synchronize this together. Okay. Namo Namaha. Everybody could say it? Yes. Okay. Not so this is now that we are offering it our prayers to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. Okay. Then again. Namo Brahmana Deva Govindaya Namo Namaha Mataji Yes We don't know the shloka Okay Namo Brahmana Deva Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Namo Brahmanya Hitaya. O Brahmanya Hitaya. Jagad Ditaya Krishnaya. Govindaya Namo Namaha. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Brahmanya Hitaya. Go Brahmanya Hitaya. Go Brahmanya Hitaya. Okay, what these three slides which are there, I'll take a screenshot and I'll share it in the group. Okay, so that you can know the translation also and then you can practice it. Okay, so just let me let me do one okay, thing. Mataji. Okay, Mataji. One second, okay. One second, let me just take a screenshot, otherwise, it will come. Namo Brahmanya Devaya, go Brahmanya Hitayaja, Jagaditai Krishnaya, go Vindaya Namo Nama. Very good. So, this will what you can do is you can keep reading it so that it becomes easier for you to learn it. Okay. So what we will do is what is it? Can I tell you about the Guru Parampara? First, you have to offer it to your Guru Dev. And you have, so the Guru Dev, the Guru Maharaja offers to his Guru Maharaja. His Guru Maharaja offers to his Guru Maharaja. Yes. And his Guru Maharaja offers to his, his Guru Maharaja. Yes, so that is the Guru Parampara. From your Guru to his Guru to his Guru. So it goes on getting offered. Then it goes to Krishna. Okay. Mataji. Today what? Oh, Mataji. Yes. Mataji. Mataji. Yes. Um, every day I wake up at 6 and I do prayer, prayers with my mom. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. So what I want you all to do is remember I told you that you can start reading the verses, the translations and then record it and send it. And then the next day, wherever you stop, start reading from there again. Okay. And this way you can have your own videos also compiled and you can uh, then later on, whenever you are done with this first chapter, then move to the second chapter. So you decide how many verses you can read translation and then you go ahead. Okay. Can we all do that? Okay, Mataji. Okay, I'll wait for yes, your recording. Okay, so we'll end our call quickly.